right lovelies today you guys are going to learn the spiritual benefits of cascaria a home without cascaria is like a home without a stove a home without cascaria is like sabrina the teenage witch without salem all right so you're going to want to watch this video to the end because i'm going to give you guys recipes on how to make spiritual baths as well as actually use this in your day-to-day -day life to get the power out of cascaria because it is very very powerful in caribbean and latin households and that's why we use it and we use it in ceremonies and all that jazz all right Hey lovers, welcome back to my channel, Chantel Anastasia here, back with another video. Oh, oh. Alright, if you're new, what it do, and if you've been here a while, welcome back. Today, we are talking about cascaria. This is what I have in this bad boy right here. I'll let you guys see. I love cascaria. I keep a lot on deck, as you can see. So it is like basically a candy jar for me, right? So these beautiful cups called cascaria. Cascaria is a widely available chalk-like substance that's available across the Caribbean and Latin America, right? In Nigeria, they actually call it effun, and it's a lot thicker. It's a little bit different from this. And in the Caribbean and Latin America, we call it cascaria, and in America, they may call it just egg, uh, egg powder or something like that, all right? So... This is a staple in African tradition religion, especially when it comes to Lukumi, Santeria, Isheshe. We use this a lot in ceremonies, so you will definitely, if you are getting initiated or you have been initiated, that white substance they're putting on your forehead, on your foot, and in your toe, cascaria. So I'm going to get a little Bill Nye the Science Guy on you. The primary elemental ingredient that they both share is calcium carbonate. So that's why they have the same effect. And the reason why Efun is used in Nigeria and Cascaria is used in the Caribbean and Latin America is because of oppression. When the Africans were taken from Africa and brought to the Caribbean islands and Latin America, they did not have Efun, access to Efun, so they used Cascaria. So that's the only reason why there is different. So you'll find in Isheshe, they use Efun, and Cascaria is used in Lukumi and Santeria practices, okay? Okay, lovelies, we're going to take a quick 10-second break, stretch, have a sip of water, and I look forward to you seeing what's up next. So cascaria is sacred to the Orisha Obatala. So if you're ever giving a ebo to Obatala, you'll be using cascaria. So while I'm talking to you guys, I'm actually going to crush this up because I'm going to show you guys how to make a spiritual bath today with some cascaria, all right? And if you've ever bought a spiritual bath or a candle from me, cascaria is one of the main ingredients I like to use, especially in my white baths and in my abatala candle. And the reason why I use it in my spiritual baths and also my candles is that because cascaria represents abatala, it's going to represent purity, peace, clarity, patience, tranquility, calm, all the characteristics of the Orisha Obatala. So when you use it, you're going to get these same feelings onto you. So it depends on how you use it because you can use it on your home or you can use it on yourself, right? So now I have crushed it. It's nice and crushed. And I actually do have in my shop, the Urban Gervy Mama shop, I actually do have crushed cascarilla in my shop if you guys are interested it's ready to go it's travel size so if you're traveling you can use it and you'll find out why this is really good to travel with all right alrighty so I have some cascarilla hair crush I'm gonna put some into this bowl this is my cascarilla in my bowl I'm gonna be adding to my spiritual bath this is actually very good if you want more of a smokeless cleanse. So let's say you can't burn sage. You're traveling. You're staying at someone's house and you do not like the energy and you can't burn sage. Cascaria. So I'm actually going to show you guys how you can actually use it around the home as well. 
So make sure you keep on watching. All right, so this cascaderia is crushed. And an awesome thing about cascaderia, it absorbs negative energy. So when, if you ever get Olympia or egg cleansing, the reason why the egg cleansing is so effective is because egg absorbs negative energy. And what's cascaderia? Powdered eggshells. See? So, first way I'm going to teach you guys to use cascaderia. You wake up in the morning, before, you know, your feet touch the floor, you should be giving thanks to your spirits, your egun, your ancestors, your ori for waking you up in the morning, helping you see another day. One thing you can do, take some, you're going to take some cascaria and you can just put some on your head, like so. I put kind of like a cross, and you can go about your day. If you don't want to go outside with it, that's fine, but you can walk around and get ready for work. And what this is going to do on your forehead is going to give you peace, tranquility, calm, clarity, all those things I mentioned before that are affiliated with the Risha Obatala. Boom! So let's say you're going to work and you know work, they have a lot of people that you really, their energy isn't the best and you're always drained. Now I'm going to show you to make a bath. You can start off with this bath in the morning or you can even do it at night. At night will be for another reason. In the morning, you can start off your day to just bring in those qualities of peace, calm, tranquility. So what I'm going to do, I take some cascaria. I'm going to put it in here. I always turn clockwise, always. It's going to look like so. It's like a milky white. I love it. Florida water. Throw that bad boy in there. I'm going to put a little bit more. Spirit was like, put some more. And let me tell you one thing. When you are making things that are spiritual for yourself, do not worry about measurements. Listen to spirit. There's probably going to be a spirit that's on your spiritual team, whether it's like your grandma or who else, or your Ori. It's going to be telling you how much to put. And I'm a kitchen witch, and people sometimes ask me, oh, how much do you put? I'm like, I just listen to spirit. Either it's my grandma or someone talking to me and I just know how much to put. They're basically carrying my hand. If I ever open something and so a lot falls out, it was supposed to be that way, all right? So, all right, so I put some Florida water. So we're going to work. This is so simple for you. Um, so let's say you want to do this for protection because the, the energy at work just isn't good or wherever you're going, you're just not too fond of the energy. Cascaria, I have some spring water, a little bit of Florida water. What you can do if you don't have time to take a bath, you can just put some in your hand and you can just wipe your skin, your face. Definitely want to get some over your head and wipe your way down. Put some on your feet. Easy. Let's say you do have time for a bath. Take a regular shower. Always take a regular shower. You need to clean yourself, right? And then right after, you can just you don't need a lot. Just pour it on your body. If you have time to soak, that's cool. If you don't have a tub to soak, that's cool. I have a stand-up shower, so a lot of my baths come from one of my basins, right? You can just pour this over you and ask Obatsala to bring in those qualities. Peace, tranquility. Uh, clarity, calm, all that jazz, right? So boom, that's your morning. Okay, lovelies, we're going to take a quick 10 second break, stretch, have a sip of water, and I look forward to you seeing what's up next. Okay, so now we're going to layer this bath to the next level. Let's say you are a student or you're a business owner or you're someone who has to do a lot of thinking at work and you rely on your memory, this is for you. So cascaria, you remember, it offers you clarity, calm, and peace. If your mind is at rest and you have clarity, you can work better. So now we're going to take this bath to the next level. I have rosemary, fresh rosemary that I dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of this rosemary. Spirit said add one more. I'm actually going to use this bath for myself, so nothing goes to waste. Nothing goes to waste, my friends. Alright, so I'm going to be adding some rosemary to this bath. Rosemary, medicinally, is great for depression, anxiety, and it improves your, your memory. Adding this rosemary, 
I am a kitchen bruja, kitchen witch. So rosemary, magically, it is great for purification, helps with negative energies. Its planet is the sun and it has masculine energy. So now I added this rosemary to the bath. Same thing, if you cannot soak in it, then you can pour it on yourself after you've showered or take your hand, rub it, boom, boom, boom. You're going to get the metaphysical properties of the rosemary, the spiritual properties of the Florida water and the cascaria. So this is great. Let's say you cannot do either and you need to be more discreet. What you can do is now take this mix and put it in a bottle like so. So then you can either spray your body, or let's say you have a smaller bottle, you can even spray the area of your desk. I kid you not, I used to arrive to one of my jobs super early. One, I did it to break the stereotype of black people being late, so I got there an hour and a half early for a whole year and a half, right? And I would also get there a little bit early because I would spiritually cleanse my desk to keep certain people away from it and guess what it worked so what you can do you can put some of this in a bottle and spray it around your desk and let's say during the day on your lunch break there's not a lot of people looking you can spray your area so this is very good for purifying a space not only your home you can do it at your work desk you can put it in your car and any other area that you're in so another thing you can also do so let's say you can't spray this is why the powdered cascaria. Bring some of this bad boy to work. And if you want to put a little bit around your desk, it also stops negative energies from entering. So if you have that coworker that always likes to come by your desk to just get you riled up, put some of that around your desk. I'm telling you, it will help. Alright? So, cool. We have rosemary for your students. We have rosemary for your business owners, people who are always thinking, go, 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 go. Great for the morning. Next thing, let's say you just want simple purification. What you can do is add hyssop. Hyssop is a great purifier. So instead of the rosemary, sub it for some hyssop. So you lovelies can see, this is what hyssop looks like. Smells amazing. Ooh, smells so good. Now let's say you believe you have some serious heavy, heavy energy on you and you just need a quick bath. You don't have time to buy one. I do have a Baño Blanco in my shop that is very, very good to cleanse and purify. It's a Batala's Baño Blanco. It's definitely one of my best-selling spiritual baths. Let's say you don't have time to like buy one. Then what you can do is take some spirits. I love adding spirits to bath. It just I feel like it just wakes you up and it wakes up the bath itself. Because herbs are a spirit, right? And that's why we also give spirits to our warriors when we're, um, when we're servicing them. When we're doing our ebos, we're waking them up. So I just added some spirits to this bath to amplify it. Same thing, I can put it in a spray bottle. Splash it on me, spray it on the area, cleanse myself regularly, or take a bath, or I can soak in this, right? And it's, whew, it's strong. It smells great. It actually smells really, really good. All right, cool. So that's everything we can do that is water-based. Now, when it comes to cascaria just by itself, what you can do is take this cascaria and you can put a barrier around your front door. This is going to stop negative energies from entering your front door. You can even write symbols, if you like, on your front door. And if you can't put symbols because it'll look a little, unfortunately, satanic to some neighbors, what you can do is get a terracotta pot. A terracotta pot, it looks like so. It's clay. And you can draw a symbol on here. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. I'm going to draw something real quick. So I can see here, I drew a quick protection symbol. This is a symbol that I created for myself. And what you can do, you can put this at your front door and put a planter right on top. No one would know, but I'll offer protection. Now, 
cascarilla is very, very good to travel with. Let's say you are staying in an Airbnb or staying in someone's home and you do not know the energy and you can't bring liquid. I'm telling you, bring the small vial of cascarilla and same thing, sprinkle a little bit on the, you can sprinkle a little bit at the door. And if you want to be more, dis, um, be more discreet, what you can do is sprinkle it under the mat. If there's a mat, put it under the mat and then put the mat over it. And you can do this at your front door of your room, put it on the inside, put it on the window sills, anywhere where there's an opening that negative energies may come in. That can help you because when it comes to Airbnbs and other people's homes, you do not know what people do. You do not know what happened in that home before you arrived five minutes ago, two years ago, a hundred years ago, right? And I've had my own experience traveling to foreign lands and spirits being in the home and me just having sleep apnea and going through it. And I wish I would have brought Cascadilla. I had Palo Santo, luckily, and I did my own prayers with a white candle and some a glass of water. But I'm telling you, Cascadilla can really help you. So that's how you can use Cascadilla around your home. And I also have pets. I put some on one of my pets, Chala. She's a little bit crazy. She's my black cat, if you've ever seen her. And um, I'd love to put her on my channel one day. And she can get a little bit crazy. So sometimes I'll take some Cascadilla. And I put it on her forehead, and I'm like, be still, be calm, relax. <laughs> yes. Cool. So those are the uses of cascarilla. And last but not least, I love putting it in my candles. So if you have a white candle, you can get some cascarilla powder, sprinkle it on top, and ancestors definitely will love it. So that is all, folks. Make sure you hit the like button so I know you guys like this type of content. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be putting out videos two to three times a week. And I'm open to topics. Please let me know if there's a specific topic that you're interested in learning. If it is not a taboo for me, I will definitely, um, if enough people ask, I'll make a video on it. All right. So see you guys later. Ashe, ashe, ashe.